If you want to give a distinct look to your character, then you can actually use brush tool for tracing out characters as well. So let's exactly do that in this lesson right here. So I'm going to go over here on to file and I'm going to go to import and I'm going to go to image and then I'm going to select the character which I want to trace. So this is the same character we used in the last lesson as well. So just this time we're going to use brush to actually uh, trace it out. So I'm going to go over here and then uh, lock out this layer because this is what I want to trace out. So let's divide them into layers and now this time let's trace it out using the brush tool. So let's go over here on to the drawing right over here. So I'm just going to rename this to head and I'm going to enable the light table over here. So I'm going to select my brush tool right over here and then from the top I can choose different brush styles. So if you're using a plain brush stroke then it's usually a good idea to uh, trace out with the pencil itself, but if you want to uh, be a bit more creative, let's say I want to choose a brush like this for a distinct character look, then uh, brush tool is the way I want to go with. So I'm going to go over here and then just start tracing out. So unlike uh, your regular uh, pencil tool, you don't actually uh, you don't actually have like a line building tool right over here. So it's just like an overlapping, but I do want to make sure that it stays on the same layer. So I'm going to choose auto flatten right over here, just like that. Okay, so now just like that, what I want to do is I'm going to choose the color. I want it to be black. Seems like I have green selected. So I'm just going to go around here onto the palettes right over here. Just, uh, just expand this, select black. So let me just minimize this out and start tracing. So I'm just going to start tracing right over here and you can see that there's a distinct look. So I can overlap out as well. I can press control Z overlap but there's no smoothing right over here. So it's just like painting out. So you know, have a painting like look to your character. You can actually trace out by using this tool right over here, just like this. So you have your head ready. I'm going to add in another drawing over here. I'm going to say eye, uh, eyes. I'm going to add it and mouth over there. So add that as well. So I'm going to go to head eyes. So let me just drag around the eyes right over here. So there's that look uh, just like that. Let's draw around. And the other one is going to be the mouth. So just draw a straight line over here. So just like that, I'm just going to draw a straight line. There you go. So there's the mouth. So let's go around and uh, work around with the body and everything else now. So I'm going to add in a layer. I'm going to go around and add in, uh, let's say something like a drawing layer itself. And I'm going to go for body, add that out. So let's trace around. So just like that, let's trace around over here onto the body. Let's go around, trace around, and then over here, just like that. I'm going to close this out right over here because later I need to fill this out. So there you go. The body is done. So let's go around with the arms. So I'm going to go around, press the plus uh, button right here, drawing, and I'm going to go around with uh, left arm, add, and that is going to be left hand, add, um, right arm, add, and right hand, add. I'm just going to add in uh, the foot as well. So I'm going to have uh, left leg, add, right leg, add, and left foot, add, and right foot, add. All right, there you go. So all of them has been added in just like that. So now, now let's go and uh, let's go for the uh, left, uh, not, um, okay, so I'm going to go around with the left arm right over there. So that's the left hand. Okay, seems like I did not rename this, right? So I'm just going to say left arm right over there. All right, so now I'm just going to start tracing this out as usual, just like that, as long as it's okay, and draw around a hand over here, just like that. So left arm is okay and left hand right over here just like this left hand and now i'm going to go around with our right hand okay so right hand is right around here just like this this is the right hand and this is going to be the right arm right over here so just like this draw around right arm over here so it seems like i need to go around and then Go around and right arm. There you go. So that's it. 
Now let's go around with the right hand is okay. Now the left leg. So let's go around with the left leg. And you can see that this gives a very distinct look to the character and right leg. Okay, right leg and left foot. And I'm going to go with right foot. Okay, so I traced around everything. Now let's start coloring it. So let's go with the head itself. I'm going to go around and color this out. But there won't be a very nice color in the beginning. So let's go to the color. Let's go around and work around with the palettes right over here. I'm going to add in new layer. I'm going to go on to edit over here. I'm going to choose uh, something like the skin color right over here and then uh, choose that color, fill that out in right over here. You can see that by default, it's not very, very uh, clear. As you can see that there's uh, as is missing out. So I have to take my brush tool over here for that. Now I need to go around and select a solid brush. So let me increase the size over here. And now I need to go to the color layer right over here. And then from the color layer, I just need to start drawing it. And you can see that the color actually stays at the back just like that. So this is an additional step you need to take whenever you're using uh, the brush tool as the tracing tool right over here. So just like that, you can see that you need to, you, know, you can fill up the background color just like that. So there's the head over here. I'm going to move the head on to the top right over here. So I'm going to work around with the layers as well, as you can see. So that's the head. So now let's uh, move around the uh, mouth at the top and the eyes at the top as well. So I'm going to disable the light table as a whole, as you can see. I'm going to go around and disable the bottom layer as well. So you can see that this is a really different type of uh, look, as you can see. So you can go around and you can go around and then edit this out as you would like. But anyways, I'm going to go around. This is the head. So let's go to the uh, uh, the body right over here and then fill out the body then. So let's go around, uh, expand this out. I'm going to add in and I'm going to press edit. I'm going to choose uh, something like this color and then fill it out. So once I choose that, I'm going to go around with the paint bucket and fill it out. I need to select the line tool for this one and select the color as well. So there you go, that's filled out. I'm going to go to the color tool now, then to the brush tool and then start drawing out over here to fill the gaps. So I'm just going to go around, fill the gaps just like that. And there you go. So just like that, fill out the gaps over here. Fill out the gaps over here. All right, there you go. So the gaps has been filled out right over here from the body. So let's go around and keep it beneath the head right over here. So now let's go on to the left arm. So I'm going to add in a new color for this one. I'm going to edit this and maybe a bit of a darker color compared to this one right here. So just for a bit of a difference. So left arm, let me just color this out. I'm going to color this out. I'm going to go on to the line tool, color this out over here and then on to the uh, right arm as well, color that out. And since I need to color the arm, I need to uh, hide the body so I can see the color clearly. So I'm going to go around to the color tool right here on the uh, right arm. So let's color out the gaps just like that. So let's color out the gaps over here just like that. Color out the gaps. All right. Control Z. Gaps. But that's uh, an error. I, I forgot to select the color layer. So it's actually drawing on top of the line. So I don't want that. I'm going to hide the, uh, hide the hand as well because that is a bit distracting over here. And there you go. So all of them has been colored out now. So let's go on to the uh, left hand now. So I'm going to go around to the left, uh, left arm. There you go. This one. Yeah. So once I do that, left hand, hide it out and then color this out as well. So it's like this. Color this out onto the edges. And there you go. So the left hand is done as well. So it's like that. So now let's uh, actually color out the hand. So I'm going to choose the skin color. I'm not going to use fill. I can just uh, like draw around because this is not much. So left hand, let's draw around over here. That's done. 
and the right hand let's draw around over here and that's done as well just like that as you can see so now this is the body and there you go there's the color and everything else so let's go on to the uh foot now so uh, right leg is there and left leg is there. So let's go around to the left leg. I'm going to add in a Dean pant like color. So I'm going to go to edit. Uh, I'm going to choose something like blue and select this color out over here. So once I do that, I'm going to take my paint bucket tool on the left leg. Uh, I'm going to fill it out by using this tool right here and the right leg as well. So once I do that, I'm going to solo this out so that I can actually color that out. I can solo out as well. Gonna go on to the color layer, gonna go on to the uh, brush and brush it out over here. So just press it out and there you go, that has been filled out. And solo this out as well and disable that. Go on to this layer and then fill it out over here just like that. All right, there you go. So that has been filled out as well, just like that. Now let's go on to the foot. I'm just gonna use black for that one, all right. A bit different than the previous lesson so i'm going to go around on to the um foot the left foot solo that out fill this out over here and i'm going to use the yeah the background color that's fine so that's on the background and then the right foot so select the right foot over here and then and then just draw it out so i'm going to go on to the right foot and then just color this out over here just like this so once you do that, now you can see that there's the uh, layer right over here, just like this. So now I'm going to go on to the eyes right over here. So there's the head. So I'm just going to start parenting it now. So just like this, I need to bring the eyes and mouth to the front. So I'm going to use Z axis. So for the Z axis, use 0 0.001, just a bit to the front. So there's no distortion. And for this one as well, I'm going to go around here onto the Z axis and 0 0.001 and it comes to the front just like that. So there's the head. So now the body is already on the front, so that's fine, but I need to parent it out, which will actually get it. Uh, so that's actually fine. So uh, the right, uh, so the right foot is going to be the child of right leg and the left leg is going to be the child um, left foot is going to be tall off left leg. I need to work around with the Z axis for this one as well. So Z axis for this one, uh, 0 0.001 brings it to the front. And the right foot as well, the Z axis is going to be 0 0.001, which brings, brings it out onto the front as well. So left leg and right leg all is done. So let's go around with uh, the right hand and the left hand. So I'm going to go around, bring in the right hand under the right arm and left hand under the uh, left arm right over here. So uh, left arm and right arm over here. So let me just press uh, the plus button right over here on both. On the right hand, I'm going to go around and then uh, that's already at the back. So that's fine in my case. So no need to worry about the uh, arrangement just like that. So all of the arrangement is done. So for the body, all of this is going to be the child and head is going to be the child of the body as well. But the head is supposed to be in the front. So I'm going to go around to its Z axis and press 0 0.001 and it's at the front. So there you go. Uh, the body has been done. So let's go around and work around with each of the anchor points so that it's um, it can be animated now. You can see that there's the distinct look for this character, so different look over here. So now I'm going to go around and select out the anchor point for all of this, anchor point for this one over here, as you can see, anchor point for the left leg right over here, the right leg over here. So I'm going to go around and keep one over here. The head is going to be right around here. So now I can use the animation tool and then start animating the character right over here. So the leg is there, I can move around the leg. I can move around the arm over here so I can actually give it any position I want just like this. So just like that, you can see that I can move them around over here. So this is how the character actually looks like as you can see. So can select all of it so I can select this around and then do some changes to it as well. So that is how you can trace out a character by using the brush tool and then yeah, 
uh, that's how you give a distinct look to the character. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.